of the Ohio State Buckeyes, a place that's home to such legendary names as Archie, Woody, Zeke, and Stroud. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Don't be lying, bro. Let me do my dip show. Fielded in the end zone. It's Sategna. Makes a move. Just a nice return there. That last line of coverage is the only thing that stopped him from scoring. First down for this offense. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Feeling some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The Razorbacks want to move quickly. And how about this Buckeye defense? This is not all flash and score around here these days. And when you've seen Ohio State really be great and make those playoff runs, you always pick out those big defensive linemen that can get their hands on the... He's got it down the right side. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Well, we knew this offense wanted to be aggressive in this game plan, and they're doing it right away in the first series, taking a shot down the field. They got the look they wanted, and what a great throw by the quarterback. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. He's got an open man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at him. He is smashing people. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Arkansas! Offense getting set for first down. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. He's going to take a shot right away. Makes the grab down the left side. Open runway ahead. Touchdown, Ohio State. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off the speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback is going with that ball. Nice job. Be found as he stopped at the 18. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. He's got it down the left side. And he's running in the open. Just what they were looking for. A huge explosive play. And they're inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. This is a designed run. And they'll get him on the ground at the three-yard line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Now on the move. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And the Razorbacks want to crank the tempo. A run for the quarterback. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks! 
And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, Bell, is he can hurt you throwing the ball, but man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he has got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. Dropping back, it's green. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. The Buckeyes may be leaders in the modern game, but this has an old-school, vintage Buckeye feel to it when they move the ball on the ground. Yeah, and Ohio State's done it year after year, and it's player after player, but this university recruits at such an elite level. They find dudes, and it's easy to run the football when you've got some dudes. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. To the ground with the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Once first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. And that ball is picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. Not only made the pick, but he also made up some ground and took it back to the 38. Well, the offense turns it over, and talking to their coaching staff before this game, they talked about how important it was to have good ball security and not give the opponent extra possessions. That time, poor decision by the quarterback, and the defense made them pay. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Looking to throw, it's green. He makes the connection. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. The Hogs getting it done through the air, evoking memories of Ryan Mallett. And that's what the fans of Arkansas want to see. They always got that physical ground game. They always want to have a little bit of balance, and when they get that balance, they get that offense cooking, they get everybody pretty excited. You might even get a woo pig scene. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. The Razorbacks will snap it on first and ten. He'll just keep slinging it. Makes the catch. It's Anthony. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Shakes off the tackle. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. And the Razorbacks will move the sticks.
The Razorbacks trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Barges ahead. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Heftiness coming out on the goal line. On third and goal, they'll throw it. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Green. They're setting up the screen. Two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. Well, you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something real. And that pass is intercepted. Didn't have a lot of room to run after the pick, but he's done his job. They have it at the 44. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. He'll start this drive firing. He uncorks a bullet to the right. And he makes the catch inside the 10. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. This offense has put on a display in the first half, and they have a chance to tack another one on before the break. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Quarterback checking the play. To the air. It's Green. Using his legs to buy some time. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Okay. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Slam in. The end return. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He's looking to throw it. With the catch, it's Scott. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Just enough time for one final play in this half. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They're going to test the right side with this one. Twist his way through. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. 
When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half. That's the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth downs because obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me too. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Back to throw, it's Howard. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that is interception number three on the day. Bringing it back. He'll finally go out of bounds, but he was showing off all the skills after that interception. Nice read, nice break. Good job by the defender understanding that ball had some air underneath it. Takes advantage of it, goes and makes the big play. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. Pulls it in. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to listen. Oh, uh, can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy? right next to me. I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. They got to do a better job. On second down, he'll let it fly. Catch in the middle, it's Wilson. He stopped just short of the goal line. Get him out of here. Razorbacks are ready to take the field. Yeah. As we'll see, the Kentucky Wildcats Boom. taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks. Yeah. I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Kentucky about to kick off to get things underway. He'll bring it out. It's Sategna. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the out as he stopped at the 13. First down here for the offense. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Off play action on first down. They get to him as he throws. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And how about that for setting the tone early if you're the defense? First play of the game, they go pass, and you punish the quarterback. That sends a message loud and clear. You're going to be here all day. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. That's a really nice looking throw, and I'll tell you, he fits in great with this offense because there's been this philosophical shift recently in the SEC offensively. It used to be you had to run the football. I formation, three yards in a cloud of dust if you wanted to win, but today, though, you have got to be able to throw if you're going to win. Think about all the great offensive play callers now in the SEC, all the Heisman Trophy winners that have played recently at the QB position. you got to do it through the air, and this guy in Arkansas gives them a chance. Ooh. He Get that one back, and the last Ooh. thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Hit as he throws. He took a hit as he threw and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense, and guys, let's also trust... Oh, it's a fake. And he makes the catch. Now can he get to the sticks? I love the aggressive nature. They told us coming into this game they were just going to let everything go. And here we are in the first drive of the game. They line up in the punt formation, and they fake it. Not just that. They pick it up, and this drive is staying alive. I love it. 
off the play fake on first down to throw. Incomplete, thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. There's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance to set his feet. The pressure just forced him to have to work off schedule a little bit. And I think because of that, he wasn't able to be as accurate as he wanted to be. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Come on, Lon. Give me some time. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. Back to throw. It's Green. Fires to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Remember some of the years when the Hawks spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy at quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You, you got a running back in there, you know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. He'll send out five wide receivers on second and four. He's looking to throw. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. They're about to get through their entire opening script of plays. This is the 11th play of the drive. Third down coming up. Pulls it in. It's Anthony. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. They'll pass on the 46-yard field goal attempt and go for it here. Just going to keep it after the snap. Got enough space. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Arkansas! That's the lead early. Forget the kick. He's going to throw it. And they're able to get him. First down here for the offense. These corners going to give these receivers some space. He'll crank up this drive with the pass. Buys a little time with his feet. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. And the Wildcats in the hurry up. Hand off to the single back. Come on now. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. They'll run it right here on the jet sweep. He was right there, man. Come on now. Really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. get this quarter going with a second down play. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the big fella. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Man, he had to get rid of that thing. I don't even think he had time to find the laces, but he picks up the first down. Yeah, that's a great job. You know third and short, the defense is bringing pressure. He sees the pressure, gets the football out, and gets just enough for the first down. Just sledgehammering his way down to the 33. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or game tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. On the 
And now on second down for this offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to throw for it. Quick completion on the out. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third shoot. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Snap it to the back. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. They'll run it on first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. The defense calls the timeout. They're second of the day as they try to get their act together. He'll keep it on the Come state. on, I was not all size. Come on. Yeah, and you see some people get upset with offsides in the defense. Um, I call them the oh. business. It's just part of being great off the football. Sometimes you'll guess and, and sometimes you'll be wrong. The first one is always on me, coach. You know, and the second one, you know, usually he takes me out of the game. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. They'll go with a direct snap. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. Let's get it. Nice job by the defense on fourth down, going up, getting physical, stopping the run, shutting down that fourth down play. Really good job by this defense. Give to the running back. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Bought a little time, lets it go. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it. Okay, Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Not a lot of scoreboard fireworks from these guys in the first half, but they've got a chance here after making some halftime adjustments. Yeah, and remember, it just takes one play to kick the door open, and all of a sudden there's a lot more confidence again. So which guy on this offense can hit the big home run and break this thing open? Well, and the good thing is it's such a low-scoring game. I'm still very much in this. I can be who I am, make a few tweaks, make a few adjustments, and get this offense rolling. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And it looks as if they buzz down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. Direct snap. Powers through the defender. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. 
And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Dropping back, it's Vandergrift. A little screen to the running back. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. He's off to the races. Get out of here. The 10. And he eluded that last touchdown with an onside kick. And he finished things off racing 53 yards for six. The 40. Oh, the ball's out. And they put it on the deck, but it gets out of bounds to avoid the turnover. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, in every possession. Deep shot for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air gets it out quickly. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route run. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. And the Razorbacks moving quickly to the line. Bulls his way forward. They spun that wheel of fortune on fourth down and come up bankrupt. I like it. This defense plays aggressive on fourth and short, and they are rewarded. Figured they would run the football. They did. Nice job getting some penetration and stopping that fourth down play. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Wide out in motion. Jet sweep trying to turn the corner. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense was prepared, and I'm really impressed by the eye discipline right now. That's not easy to do. It's not easy to locate that receiver coming across in motion with good timing and getting the jet sweep, but they were ready for that play. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And they got him for the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see his zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Despite failing earlier on fourth down, they will try again here. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Now adjusting. On the run, fires downfield. And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Razorbacks! They've got the lead here in the fourth. What a 
a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. In those big moments, and right before the half, in the fourth quarter, late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. You've got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. Back to pass. It's green. And he makes the grab for the deuce. On that two-point can... Make sure we got our best on the field. All right, let's go. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time. Let's go. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, and go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. That's our route. Watch number six. On second down, they'll take to the air. The short hands, it's Brown. And an explosive play. Has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. I love when my wide receiver sees the coverage, sits it down, understands its zone, runs the curl, catches the ball, and then gets upfield and gets some positive yards. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Snap it to the back. And a nice, solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrift. Buys a little extra time. And this is going to be incomplete on third. How nice is it as a defense when you've got a corner that can play on an island and be as dominant as this guy has been all game long? Just saw another great example of it right there. Breaking on the ball and knocking it away. Gotta have it here on fourth down. He hurls one deep down the left side. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Line gets set, first down. He wants to throw. Looking for a deep man. And they won't make the connection going for the big play. And you've seen this formula work at all levels of football. You pressure the quarterback, his numbers start to drop. He's not as efficient. Nice job by the defense. On second down, just keeps firing. He'll take another shot here. Got it! And he crosses the goal line for the late touchdown. Here comes the offense on first down. Go get the quarterback. They'll start this drive with a pass. Might be looking to run. A deep throw as the clock winds down. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there. Who won't want? Go get it. And run that clock. Looking downfield. It's green. Lofts one high and deep. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And he's on the phone, Green. But not before putting his offense in business. I waited too long. Well, there's no quit in this defense. I'll give him that. Obviously, they're trailing here late in the game. Get the quarterback. The opponent's going to win. Want the but safety. still, they've got guys out there playing the way they're coached to play. They're playing without standing. Who want that safety? Plays to claw their team back in the Timeout is called with just a single second left. One more play to pad the stats. Want that safety. These receivers right off the line. From deep in their own territory, look at the throw. Him again. <laughs> Wait till the final whistle. It falls incomplete, and that's the ball game. 
Yes, here, bro, bro. We need. Workmanlike effort from this team. No frills. Just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things. <laughs>